Hello. Um, it's Friday, and as we move into our uh, weekend, I think many of you will be finishing up some projects. But I also wanted to give a quick demonstration about um, how to do the assignment for this week. So we're starting to move into our uh, evaluating databases. Um, this is a 25 point assignment and here's the rubric below and you can think of each of the databases as worth five points. So you're going to need to do a combination of the research guides. So you're going to need to open the research guide and if you click this link it opens to another page and you're also going to need to download and open the Word document planning research topical searching uh, document. If you prefer to use a Google Doc and you want to, um, uh, oh, you can always copy and paste this, but I do need this text. And so here are the directions. Here is the research guide, which is also linked in the document. And some information about the database. I exemplified SIRS, um, but as you'll see, there's five. So there's Opposing Viewpoints, SIRS, CQ Researcher, Wikipedia, and Gale Virtual Reference Library. So each of these is evaluated the same way by authority, identifying source types, uh, date and currency, search yield, and advantage and limitation of search tools. There's actually two questions here. Did you locate any articles you might use for your topic? And did the tool organize sources in a user-friendly way? All right, so let's go ahead and do a search for opposing using opposing viewpoints. So for organization, I'm going to click down a little way um, so I can actually see the box. Next, I'm going to look at the research guide. So I'm going to click here, and it opens into our research guide. Once you're at the research guide, click on the tab Exploring a Topic. And this research guide has brought together the databases that you're going to need to access to evaluate. So since we're doing opposing viewpoints first, let me click on this. Uh, you may see, uh, maybe asked to log in, and this goes through the portal proxy. It's the same login as your Canvas portal, uh, self-service portal, all the same. So opposing viewpoints has a couple of different ways you can search. And, oops, sorry guys. And um, you can search up in the search box right here. So for instance, if my search was um, artificial intelligence. So I'm going to go ahead and just type in artificial intelligence. Um, as you may be familiar with searching in Google, it oftentimes gives suggestions on what search terms to use. And a lot of these databases are no different. So this is a subject keyword, a subject term, and I'm going to go ahead and click on their suggestion. Um, within this interface, they've chunked the different resource types into these big subheadings. So when I look at, when I scroll down, okay, all the way down, uh, I see related topics, um, websites, statistics, magazines, newspapers, audio, videos, Bi biographies, reference, viewpoints, featured viewpoints in academic journals. So, and they're also listed right up here. So when we decide to actually open up an article and we're looking for a specific source, which is something that we will be doing in the future, uh, it's easily um, displayed right up at the top. We can also search within the results. So if I was only interested in artificial intelligence and perhaps um, learning or maybe 
driving, like self-driving cars. Um, those would be issues within that I could explore just within artificial intelligence. Okay, so for the purpose of our assignment, um, I'm looking at authority. So do the sources have clearly stated authors, sponsors, or organization? And I would need to look at these and say, okay, well, from, authors, from. So they do include, oftentimes, the author and the from. Um, our from, we can also consider that as our, as our sponsor. And the difference between a sponsor is oftentimes the publisher or the news organization. And the author is the person who wrote it or the editors. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and record that here. Um, I see authors and sponsors and lots of different news sites. Um, actually, what I might want to even go and do a little bit further is click on an example. So by looking at, ex at an example, uh, this is what the article looks like within. So there's thousands of articles, thousands of articles on this topic. And we're not looking to start collecting information yet. That's coming up. We have plenty of time for that. But what we're looking for are some of those elements. So uh, the authors, um, the authors are stated and they are linked. So you can see right here that I can actually click on the author name and it'll redirect me to maybe other articles that author has written and I can look and see if maybe they're, um, they're an expert in their field. So that's, that's something as well. Um, I can also look th throughout and see if I can find any more um, author information which I do have a citation, so I'm gonna go ahead and note that as well. To citations. All right, great. So now, let's look at source types. So going back to our, our search results here, um, the search types, so I'm looking for format types. And in this case, I see reference, I see viewpoints, future academic journals, infographics, and from within those, they're listed from. So I'm seeing encyclopedia, I'm seeing morning edition, all things considered. Also, I wanna mention that just because it's only showing two or three, that there's uh, oftentimes many more. So for example, magazines, they only list three, but if I clicked on magazines here, you would see 161 different results. So looking back at my identify source, clearly states are they news, journals, reports, books, websites. Um, yes, the source types are clearly stated. Um, news, reference, um, websites, audio. So I'm just going to go ahead and record some of these big subtype or sorry, format types right up on the top. Um, infographics. Um, I think I saw um, organizations as well. Okay, so date and currency. Does it list the date? Yes, it does. So the dates are listed right below and they're really clearly stated. So um, right off the bat, I can judge whether or not it's something that I want. This particular article is from 2006. Um, uh, this article is from 2017, um, depending on if our top, if our issues are you know, very, very current, we might just want to restrict to within the last 10 years. And 
um, I'm not seeing anywhere that I can do that right away, but I'm gonna go ahead and say, dates are clearly stated. Um, they are listed directly beneath the title. Okay. So yes, sorry, I'm not typing very, <laughs> I'm not doing very good spelling and I hope you do spell check more than me. What's the search yield? All right, so within this artificial intelligence, um, just, I mean, broadly stated, I'm seeing uh, sometimes on other databases, it actually lists <clears throat> what your results are right up on the top. Um, I can kind of get an idea just by looking right here, but already I have over a thousand, probably close to, let's say 1600. So I'm going to go ahead and say um, there are 1600 results for AI, for artificial artificial intelligence. Um, I feel like this might be too many results. All right, and then advantage or limitation of this search tool. Did you find any articles you might use for your topic? So, I don't know, if I'm just getting an idea of what artificial intelligence is about, um, I might say, okay, well, uh, assessing cave out output ratio and top coal caving that doesn't really feel like it fits in with my search but then these reference items facial rec recognition artificial intelligence you might want to click on some of these and look around a little bit see if any of these um, do have articles that I could use here's a great one that's just from 2019 and I could click on that and say yes I found background information that is from 2019. And did the tool organize sources in a user-friendly way? Yes, I felt that the tool chunked up the information well. It allowed me to see at a glance what the different type of information was, but I am still not sure if any of the articles will work, will work for me, for my research. Okay, that's it. It took me about, well, let's see, we're at about 13 minutes now. So it took me about 10 minutes to move through this one database. So I still have four more to go. And I'm going to repeat the moves that I just made. I'm going to go back to my research guide, which I think that I may have lost, but that's okay. I can just always go back to the Canvas shell and open it up again. Go to Exploring a Topic and move on to the next one. Okay, so move on to the Gale Virtual Reference Library. Sometimes the interfaces may look a little bit similar. So this is a Gale interface. That's just the, um, the database. Um, but within this, I can still come in and search my search. So when we're looking here, we're going to look and see what are our dates, what are our, do we have authors, um, what's our, who's our sponsor. Um, it looks like we have a lot that provides a lot of background information within the Gale Virtual Reference Library. And I would need to maybe open a couple of these. Um, I can also explore a little bit over on the right hand side. I have these um, ways to drill down. So within my subject of um, artificial intelligence, I could um, say I'm only interested in uh, social media or I'm only interested in cognition and these are ways that I can start to explore my time.